Okay, so the next thing we want to do is pull our missile and plane objects into the scene. But before we do that, let's take a quick look at what we have here. Go into a four-way view here, go into my right view, and zoom up on my plane. Go full screen with that by middle mouse clicking. And we'll see that we're at an angle here. And we kind of want this plane and these nulls to be flat on the runway. All we need to do is come over here, select the runway null, and we need to basically spin our entire world until we get something that's flat. As long as we're spinning the null that is housing everything underneath it, we're okay. So let's just get this as flat as we can. I have to go into a few different views. Spin it around like this. And maybe it might make some sense to uh, turn on the grid so that we can align this better. There we go. And just play around with it until you get it exactly the way you want it. And do that. I'm just going to spin this around. Let's go in the front view, see what we have. And that looks pretty good. That looks all right. Let me just turn on the grid here. It's on. And I think we're almost there. Let me spin this just a little bit more. Okay, so that's pretty flat. We'll be in better shape now. Now we can see our grid here. All right. Maybe we can just pull out of here just a little bit and spin this and get that back. Just a little bit. There we go. I think that's perfect. I'm going to my other views again. Kind of a balancing act. That looks pretty good. All right. We're almost there. Bear with me. And we'll spin this just a little bit over there. Okay. I think that's all the fiddling we're going to do. We've got everything lined up. Our world is lined up. So remember, if you need to make any adjustments like that, just do that with the null that houses the camera and all the other nulls. Now let's go ahead and merge our assets. So we'll go to File, Merge. We're going to pull in the missile and plane. Now we can't see them here. So let's go ahead and click our camera to go out of our camera view. And we can see our plane is right here. And the missile should be behind it somewhere. Okay, there it is. Now let's go into a four-way view, and we'll just zoom up on this. What I've got here is a plane that I have pre-fractured. And I'm going to supply you guys with this plane. But just so that you know how I got to this point, and the missile's the same way. So if I go look over at the missile, it's all pre-fractured. So it's a whole bunch of little pieces. Now let me just show you if I go and create a new scene, put a box in here, and if I come up, I've got a plugin called Explode. What this does, it's a fracture plugin. It basically will fracture this object up. Basically all you do, and it does that through Expresso, by the way. You come over here and you say, how many parts do you want? And I want to split this thing up into 100 pieces. And I click on Add, and this is the Espresso part, and you click on Scatter. It does its thing. It puts the original pieces right here in the Explode Trash, so you can basically just delete that. Clear, and now you can see that we actually have a whole bunch of pieces of this cube. And the other cool thing is that now it actually has depth. So normally, when you have a cube, let me just hide this for a second. If I put a cube in here, and we convert this to an editable object, and then we come over here, we delete one of these faces, you'll see that it's hollow. Well, after this plugin finishes with it, it actually has depth and thickness all the way through. So that's pretty cool. If you're interested in that plugin, you can find it right here, explode.falkyrie.com, and it's a pretty inexpensive plugin. I highly recommend it. It works pretty well. Shut that down. 
we'll close that up and we'll shut that down. Again, the two pieces that we're going to use in this scene, the missile and the plane, they were both solid pieces before, and I just went in, used the explode plugin, and made them into a bunch of smaller pieces. In the next movie, we're going to take our 3D plane and we're going to attach it to one of the nulls in the scene and get it locked down. And then we'll look at running some rigid body simulations to get the missile to blow the plane up.